everyone, my name is Victoria. Welcome to my studio. A few days ago, I shared my very short video about 25 or 27 seconds on my social media platform about how you can add a sun rays to your image in Adobe Photoshop. So many of you ask me if I can record a little bit longer video so you can learn how you can do it. So guys, today is the day. Let's rock and roll. I have uh, opened Adobe Photoshop and also I have opened my image I would like to work with. This image has only one layer. What I will do, I will click on select and from here I will click on color range, just like that. Uh, from uh, select drop down menu, I will specify highlight. I will specify fastness um, value to 23, not more than 27, 30. And a range value about, let's see, 106, none, not more than 150. And after that, I will click OK. Look at this. Photoshop selected all highlighted area areas in our image. What I will do now, I will click Command J to um, create separate a layer with all these uh, highlights. Now I will click on filter, blur, radial blur and voila. From here uh, under blur method I will specify zoom, quality I will specify to best of course and amount slider value is 100% and after that I will click OK. And look at this, Photoshop creates beautiful uh, sun rays and uh, applied all colors very complementing to our image. So now we have two layers. One layer is our background layer and top layer is our um, layer with our uh, sun rays. To make our second layer, to make our sun rays more realistic looking, I will change blend mode. I will change blend mode to lighten, just like that. And also I will bring opacity of this layer down about 70. Look at this. This is before and this is after. So. In this image, we started with a forest without any identification of any sun rays. But what in we uh, created this uh, beautiful scenery using our custom sun rays. But what if we have already image with some uh, sun rays, but we want to make it more uh, like wow. We, we want to add more wow factor, how we can do it. In the same way, what we will do, I have here only one layer, background layer as well. I will go to select, color, arrange, same thing. So I will select highlights from my select um, drop down menu. Fastness, not more than 20, uh, 30, 25, 30. Uh, range, not more than 150. And I will click OK. So Photoshop selected all highlighted areas in my image. I will click Command J to um, create a separate layer with all those highlights. And now I will go to filter while my new layer with highlighted, my new layer with all highlights is selected. I will go to filter, blur, radial blur, blur method I specified to zoom, quality to best, amount of 100% value and I will click OK. And just like that, Photoshop creates a new sun rays for us. But here we have some imperfections. And we want to create realistic looking sun rays, right? But now our sun rays are far away from being perfect and realistic looking. Why? Because if you will look at our original image, we have already a glance of the sun with all of those sun rays. Uh, our uh, custom sun rays positioned somewhere else. No problem. What we will do? We will move our sun rays right in front of our sun, just like that. If you have trouble previewing your uh, original sun, just bring sun rays um, 
layer opacity down and in this case you can preview layer under it just like that and i will increase opacity back to 100 percent now we have those um sun rays positioned exactly uh on top of our sun but you can see that here we have border because um uh photoshop uh created sunrise based on our original uh image aspect ratio but we moved our sun rays how we can fix it it's easy we will resize our sun rays layer and if we will need we will move our uh, sun rays layer back uh, next to the sun in front of the sun and just like that a look at that look at this and what i will do i will change blend mode to lighten look at this for my taste it's too much my image is screaming look at this you just uh, added sun rays to this image yes i did but i don't want it to be screaming like that so what i will do i will bring down opacity of my sun rays layer just like that and this is before and this is after so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today if you have any questions as always you can ask i'm always happy to help thank you for all your support thank you for all your questions i love 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 your questions thank you and i will see you next time bye